What's up everyone, my name is Zach and this is Ultimate Rebuilds and today we are back on the Sea-Doo Rebuild, the free Sea-Doo Rebuild. Um, a couple things. I feel kind of like an idiot because I did not realize it is a two-stroke. So I went ahead and ordered an, an oil kit and oil filter for a different kind of Sea-Doo. In my defense, I did type in Sea-Doo oil kit for a 2002 GTI, which is what it is, and Amazon came up with something that said it was for it. So, I mean, <laughs> I'm not trying to defend myself because I'm definitely in the wrong because it's a two-stroke. It doesn't have an oil filter or anything. So, but, <laughs> um, that's why I ordered all that. I did not realize it. Either way, thank you guys so much for all the great comments. You guys are very helpful on finding stuff, what I need to do, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna listen to what you guys say because you obviously know a lot more about this than I do. But enough talking, I need to get to work. I need to take out that carburetor and take out the battery and work on fixing that stuff. And also I wanna check and make sure the motor spins because that's one of the first things I need to do that you guys said I need to do. So let's do that. We got both the spark plugs out, we got the carburetor all cleaned out, and this is the throttle cable, brand new. <laughs> got that all switched out. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, but yeah, got it all switched out. Got to put all that back together eventually. But let me talk about the carburetor. It just came in, and look at how good this thing looks. Yeah, this thing looks brand new. Um, going through the actual list of what he did, he checked everything, checked pressure-wise, he went through like full factory specs, put everything to, back to factory specs, basically. Um, put new 2K primer and paint all over it. Yeah, this thing is basically brand new. And it looks, it looks like it. He put grease on all the joints and everything. This was actually the part that was all locked up and it oh uh, yeah it feels so good yeah he did a great job i'm gonna link his um ebay account in the description if you guys want to have his have your jet ski carburetor rebuilt i guess um you can contact him see if he can actually do it like all the lines are actually replaced too with ethanol free lines or ethanol resistant lines <laughs> i guess you would say yeah, I'm really glad he rebuilt it because he did a way better job than I ever could, so 
I have no doubt that this is actually going to be a really good carburetor. Okay, a couple things. I got the carburetor on, but there's something down here and it's not springing back, so I don't think I have the spring on right. So I gotta take the carburetor back off and fix it. I think it's to do with like the oil injection. And a lot of people are saying I should block it off and just mix my own oil, but it goes back and forth. It's like people say you should and people say you shouldn't because if you mix it wrong, then it'll just do the same thing. It'll blow up the engine. And apparently these motors are pretty good about having good injection, oil injection things. So I'm just going to leave it. And if I blow up the engine, you know, I'll fix that, I guess. So I'm just going to leave that and I'm going to fix this spring. Another question I have is, is this thing supposed to be this hard to turn? <laughs> like, it's pretty hard. I don't know. And is it supposed to go all the way around like this? <laughs> I, I don't know. So that's another question. Can you answer that in the comments? And then one more thing is steering is like super hard. Um, how do I fix that? <laughs> do I need to buy like new lines or can I just like lubricate them up? I don't know how it works. So we can answer that question too. All right, I'm going to take the carburetor back out and fix that. Actually, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I didn't even have to take off the carburetor. I was able to get to it. So now that that's fixed, I'm going to finish trying to drain all this oil and gas and stuff. It's been pretty hard because I can't get a hose down there. So I'm going to go buy another hose and maybe I can reach it. Reach it all. So let's work on that. <laughs> The problem, I think it's like not one of these lines are clogged, but I think this thing is messed up. That's why it's spinning freely. It's not really cutting off the things because like turn it off or no gas to come through and then gas and then your reserve tank, which I don't know how a reserve tank works in here. Something to find out later on, but if you look in the back, let me see if I can get to it. I don't know if you can see it very well. It looks pretty corroded. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart and see what's going on because all the lines are free. I've like tried blowing through them all and there's no clogs anywhere except for this one, no matter which way I turn it because it goes directly to the little fuel filter right here. So whenever you turn it on gas or I'm guessing the reserve, it will switch to that. So I think that's what's the problem. I'm gonna take that apart because that's the only thing I can really think of. Aha, that is definitely our problem. This thing's not even spinning. It was, whenever I picked it up, it was originally on the no gas. So I guess that makes sense why it's like automatically just turned off. So we're gonna try to get this thing out. I'm gonna order a new one of these right now. Hopefully it comes in within the next few days. And then we can get this thing hopefully started because everything else is pretty much ready. Yeah, check out how bad this thing looks. Yeah, I definitely think this is a problem. I went ahead and ordered the new one and it's gonna be in here in like a week or two, but I don't wanna wait. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy like some kind of thing where I can just connect them two together, just the on switch together and then hopefully get it running like that. We'll test it out, make sure everything else was working.
All right, I got all the fuel lines, everything hooked back up. Got the whole carburetor system back up. Um, zip ties back on. Everything is ready. I am very confident it's going to start. So let's, I'm going to hook up the water hose and start it and then I'll have to run over there if it actually starts running and turn on the water hose. So yeah, let's, let's test it out. You guys might have noticed there was a leak right here. There's a couple ways to go about it. Apparently it's a common problem on these jet skis. They, from factory, they weld this plug up for whatever reason and it can wear out and rust out. So that's what happened here. Um, I read that you can just JB weld it up and it should fix it. Or you can take it somewhere, have it welded up, fixed, or buy a new one. And all those options sounded great. I was going to take it off and weld it, but I could not get these bolts out and I wanted to take it out on the lake. So just JB weld it. If it doesn't work, then I will buy a new one or take it off and have it fixed. So it's just temporary fix if it works or a long term if it works well. <laughs> I got everything else put back together. All this stuff put back together. This piece broke while I was taking it off. So I went and ordered a new one of these. Gauge looks like it's not going to work. It doesn't even have a needle in there. So we got to work on that. And obviously this isn't right. And I cut off all these pins back here so I don't step on them. So let's start it up one more time, make sure everything works and take it out to the lake. <laughs> not terrible. A little rough. Once you get going, I think it'll probably be easier. Did you kill it? I forgot to clip this thing on. We're learning, we're learning. <laughs> well, how'd it run? Hey, yeah, I mean, it didn't stutter or anything, really. Once it, it, it took a while to get going, but once I got past the dock, it, it Wow.
It's a little slippery right here. I spilled some oil. <laughs> And that's a wrap for this video, guys. It runs, and it just doesn't run. It runs really great. Um, I spent the whole weekend out there just testing it out, trying to break it, <laughs> honestly, and I could not break it. And come here. I'm being loud. And I could not break it. <laughs> um, we spent the whole weekend. I three three full tanks of gas. I spent out on this weekend, and no problems with it. There is a, okay, there is a slight problem. Um, when I first started up, I'm trying to get it going right away, it's a little iffy, it hiccups a little bit, and then I just pull the choke and then it goes right away. So if you guys have any ideas on that, um, it'd be helpful. I think it's just probably adjusting the throttle or the actual gas coming in. But other than that, it is pretty much ready for its cosmetic upgrades. I'm leaving you guys with one question is what should I name this thing? Since I am redoing all the decals and repainting some parts on it, what should I name it? I can pretty much cut whatever I want out of a new wrap or decal. So, should I name it something? <laughs> or should I just go back to the stock look? Yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Thank you so much for watching. If you want some background, I will post up some other videos on my Instagram right here, if you guys wanna check me out on Instagram. If not, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing. I will catch you guys in the next episode when we do cosmetic upgrades. Thanks. Bye.